Diana Denmark here. Good morning. Woohoo! Uh, it is Wednesday, which is uh, Anti Procrastination Day in Flying Lily Land. Uh, it's still very dark here, and uh, do not adjust your sets. Before you ask, this is not uh, a black jumper, it's actually navy, just to, before I get any comments about that. No, no, no black clothing anymore. Uh, anyway, a couple of things today. Uh, Anti Procrastination Day in Flying Lady Land. If you don't know what that is, I've got a whole playlist uh, up there. Oh, I was going to, I was going to turn around like that. Anyway, um, I've got a whole playlist on it. Uh, my anti-procrastination task today is phoning the dentist. Boo! But luckily it's not for me, it's for a family member. So, so that's on my list today. What I did want to talk to you about today are a couple of things, very important things. Um, routines, uh, rituals and achieving our goals. Now I know at this time of year it's January, you know everybody's, you know we want to do all these things and I want to help you to break it down so that you can actually achieve your goals, how you can set your, your year up, your week up for success in the same way as we've done it before. Remember I've talked to you if you are um, attempting some kind of project at the weekend with the family you want to paint the outside of the house or I don't know declutter the garage that you you know you have a framework you, you, you set yourself up by you know making sure that you've got food in the slow cooker or you're going to get a takeaway that you've got your painting clothes ready you know the, the night before that you set the alarm so that you're kind of setting yourself up for a, a good successful day and I want to help you with with whatever goals you have set for, for this year or for this month or whatever it is. Now, first of all, let's talk about routines. Now, I've made a, 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 um, a few notes here because I've had quite a few questions about this the last few days. Uh, but routines, you know me, I love my routines. I love my routines because they are, um, you know, for me, it, it's like a little rituals. Uh, they, they set me up for the day or they help me tie up the day with a big bow and, and put a lid on things and they are less work for me. But having my things in routines, whether it's a lol every day, you know, a load of laundry and LOL, uh, or planning my menus, uh, as you saw me doing ch yesterday, Tuesday, it, it just puts everything into a, a, you know, a framework so that I'm not doing double work or getting stressed about things. Now, as I've said to you before, I, I love my routines because, you know, I, 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 I never want to do anything, but, you know, these like uh, doing laundry or whatever, but it's become automatic. And when you have your things in routines and you're checking them off and you're doing them consistently, they become automatic and then you don't even think about it. Uh, and, you know, I, I love, uh, if you see me on Instagram, you see me, um, you know, drying out my sink in the evening. I've got my shiny sink photo and I've set up the coffee maker for the next day and I set the breakfast table for the next day. And in the morning, when I come down and grab my coffee, it, it's like having my own personal butler. You know, I love Jeeves, the Jeeves books. It's like having a butler who's done it for me. It's a little gift to myself doing these things. Now, I know it's difficult in the start, but you know, that, that's the thing, if we actually plan and put it into a routine and check it off or, you know, take a notebook and write it down. This is the, the one that I got from the kids Christmas with the sequins that go up, up, upwards and downwards. Um, well, once we've got a plan for it, it it's, it's, that's half the battle, having the plan for it. Now, routines, as I've said to you, they, they just set up your day, getting you off on the right foot, whether you are... Uh, pregnant, uh, whether you are working from home, whether you're at the office, whether you've got health issues, don't worry about the timing of uh, your, your routines. You may be the type that wants to get it done at a certain time or do them in a certain order. Uh, me personally, I have my morning routine and sometimes I do one part first and sometimes I do the other part first. The main thing is that I've got my routine and I get it all checked off. Uh, and I would encourage you, especially if, you're, if you've got small kids, um, if you've got health issues, don't worry about the timing of these things. Just make sure you've got your list so that you are checking them off. Don't worry about having to have it done by, you know, 11.30 in the morning or whatever it is. Just make sure that, that you get it done. And the routines, 
for me, they're, they're automatic and they're, they're also um, comforting to me. The, the routines are not just for, you know, the good days and the high days and the holidays. They are for every day. Uh, routines have really helped me get through a lot of difficult times. And then some, somebody asked about this the other day. You know, life will, will life happens, unexpected things happen, uh, dreadful things happen in our lives. Uh, we, we had um, illness in our family and that really threw me for a loop. And the routines were the only thing that I could control. And that's what pulled me through. You know, I had my routine and that's also when I, I, I transferred from my, um, if you're following the dress and your truth um, energy thing, that's when I sw kind of switched from a type one energy to my type four energy. That's when things switched around for me. And the routines were the only things, were, were the only kind of constant in a, in a world that was crazy for me. Um, I, I've used this analogy before, of, you know, when, when you feel like you're kind of hanging on to the carousel, you know, the merry-go-round, when you're kind of clinging on for dear life and, and trying not to be flung off, the routines pulled me through. And they're comforting to me in that, you know, uh, I, I can be very sad and down or, uh, you know, uh, same thing, you know, when my dad died, um, you know, the, the, you know, it's dreadful, the sorrow, but you, you've got to keep putting one foot in front of the other. The family, uh, family life goes on, you still need to dress, you still need to eat. And just having the routines are, are very soothing and comforting. And also, you know, you may be having a bad day, but it doesn't need to be the whole day that's like that. And when you're going through your routines, you're, you're, it, it just keeps you moving. It, it keeps that, that, that ball moving all the time. Um, and also, um, you saw the videos when uh, my uh, DS19, uh, when he was uh, away in the States um, doing a, a year of um, American high school, that was really tough for me. I, I thought it was going to be tough in the beginning, it would get easier. It actually got tougher towards the end. We, I didn't, we, we couldn't physically um, see him for 10 months, so it was really difficult, you know, not to be able to hug my, my son uh, or see him for 10 months. But the routines helped, you know, there were many days I woke up and I was like, hmm. But the routines um, got me through, and I was talking about this uh, with my besties, Vipika and Helena, the other day, that, you know, the, the routines are a constant comfort to me, whether things are going well and I've got new projects going on or whether it's bog standard days or even, you know, when we're on family vacation, instead of that, oh, letting it all go to the pot, letting it all hang out. And then at the end of the day, we're actually quite stressed because, uh, well, where are we going for dinner? And, you know, where's my swimsuit? The, the routine set us up so that we can actually enjoy the, the free time that we have and we get more free time by, you know, having these routines. Anyway, let me get on to the, the, the part that I wanted to get into today because, uh, you know, I love, I love routines. Um, how are we going to set ourselves up with routines for these goals that we want to achieve? Like, let, now, I'm just going to take one goal whoop, out of the air because um, it's something that I've seen a lot of you posting on, on Instagram. You want to get healthy. You want to get more exercise or eat better. Okay, so how are we going to break that down in and put it into our daily routine so that it's going to be happening? And I'll also um, talk a wee bit about what, how to cope with that when the unexpected happens instead of just throwing the whole idea out the, out the door. What is it you want to achieve? Okay, let, let's say you want to be more healthy uh, and you've said, I'm going to get my daily exercise in. What, what is that to you? What, what do you mean by daily exercise? Me, I've, I've told you that because the winters are harsh here and dark, I need more daily exercise during the winter and I have added in um, either a jog, and, and I'm not jogging, I'm not running far or fast, I'm just doing a seven minute run, and you know, I, I set my, my timer on my telephone for seven minutes, get the music going. I, I use my little headset, so I've got music in one ear and the other ear is free, you know, to hear what's going on around me, traffic, whatever. And then I get my, my um, uh, what do you call it, uh, my earmuffs on and my hat, my woolly hat. And I run for seven minutes and when the timer goes off, I run back home. Now, I either do that 
or on the days when I don't run, I do a seven minute uh, app, or workout app that I don't need to change clothes. I just kind of loosen off and I normally do it here on uh, the rug. You don't need any special equipment. I've done it that way because on the days that I don't run, I do the other thing. So I've always, I've always got one or the other. And as I said to you the other day, I've written it into both my morning routine and my evening routine. So if I don't get it checked off in the morning, it happens you know, in the afternoon. What is it that you, you want to do? Do you have to get in touch with a friend and say, okay, uh, Mary Beth, let's uh, meet every Thursday morning at 10 o'clock and we'll go for a walk, um, you know, around the lake or around the mall or whatever it is. Do you, do you want to sign up for classes at your local um, swimming pool? You know, what is it that you, you, you want to do and how are you gonna get it into your day? If maybe you are wanting to get more exercise, but it's difficult, you know, you're working long hours. Perhaps once you've eaten your lunch at your desk, you, you go and take the, all the flights of stairs uh, at the office. Uh, that's something I used to do. I always used to take the stairs when I was going. I used to work at the European Court of Justice in Luxembourg. And there were two buildings. There was the, the main court and the uh, court of first instance. And, you know, if I was taking documents from one side, you know, from one chambers uh, to the other, I would all the way down the steps. And then, so, so that was just extra exercise. Just think about how you're, you're going to work it into your, your daily routine. Tag onto something else that you're already doing. Um, you know, when, when you've had your lunch, you go for a walk around the building. Uh, before you have your lunch, take the stairs. Or when you're on your way to work, walk three um, bus stops down and, you know, get some extra steps in, park further away from your car. You know, you've heard all these, these things before. I've added it into my afternoon routine that I do it before I prep dinner. That, that works for me because that's when it's darkest here and that gets me out of the, the real funk. So how, what is it that you need to set up? Do you need to sign up now for classes? What do you need to make it happen? Add it to, write it down, write it down on your morning routine or your evening routine. Put a timer on your telephone and say, hey girl, let, let's get moving. You know, just make up something fun and, you know, get these timers uh, going and uh, alarms on your telephone. And anything works. Why don't you check in with us on Instagram? Keep yourself accountable. Uh, and also wanted to say to you, um, when the unexpected happens, for example, if you can't get out and do your um, extra walk with the dog uh, because it's very icy. Now, this actually happened to me, let me see, it was about three or four years ago. We had a real ice uh, winter where we had that kind of black ice outside that was really um, dangerous just to walk across the road. I've actually got crampons now, little crampon things that can go around my uh, running shoes. But what I did was instead of just saying, oh, well, you know, I can't get any exercise today. I actually, uh, my DS19, he was uh, in the stroller at the time. So this is, this is going back a long time. But we, we took the train to the, the local uh, or the nearest uh, shopping mall. We don't have many shopping malls here. But, you know, we, we have shops on the street. Uh, but I, I took the stroller and they kind of power walked around the mall. So... Think about alternative, right? Also have a few alternatives written down so that um, if you can't get one thing done, you can replace it with something else. And just on the back of that, I, I want to say to you, nobody is perfect. Do not, don't, do not make these lofty promises and say, I'm going to do this every day for 30 days. And then you know what happens? Life happens or you're feeling ill or whatever it is. Give yourself some leeway here um you know maybe you've uh, decided oh, i'm gonna eat healthy every day and then something comes up don't don't say to yourself oh well what does it matter i'm just gonna you know <laughs> eat like a pig the, the, the next 20 days um i mentioned this last year when we we're talking about goals now that this is from this is from our monopoly uh, set you know the game monopoly and in, in, in danish it's called metador they have a similar game and I mentioned to you, and here's the old uh, Monopoly cards, you know, bum, 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 you've seen this before. I mentioned to you about having, you know, making for yourself a get out of jail free card. Remember there was, a, you know, and, and the chance card, you would pick it up and 
So if you were stuck in jail, you could use this card and say, hey, I'm, I'm going to use this to get out of a, a fix. Why don't you, you know, if you're setting the goal that you're going to do this for your daily routine or, you know, do it for 30 days and check it off the calendar, why don't you go ahead and make yourself three get out of jail free cards? Why am I telling you to do that? Because if you have a day when you're really not feeling it, you can pull one of the cards and say, okay, this is my get out of jail free card. I'm, I'm not going to do it today. It also makes us think twice about pulling out because we're saying to ourselves, okay, do I really want to use this card today or am I just kind of, oh, you know what, I don't want to do it. Can I actually get on and do what it was that I was supposed to be doing or am I going to use the card? So it's, it's very powerful in a way because it, it, it stops us making our usual excuse, gets over that little hurdle or you know, if it's really not happening for you that day, you can you can use your get out of jail free card. Remember, if you are ill or really not feeling it, don't, you know, just don't worry about, you know, whatever it is you have added to your team. Don't don't worry about it. If you are ill, you know, get to bed, uh, you know, bundle up and, and, and get well. Do not kind of be doing half things. Now, um, I think, uh, let, let me just check my list and make sure I covered everything. Yeah, I hope I covered everything. <laughs> I know I tend to uh, jump around from one thing to the next. But uh, I wish you luck with your routines. I, I'll, I'll put, the, the, uh, as I said, I, I think I already said, I put a link to the playlist up there. I have a seven day routines challenge where I talk about what to focus on, um, if you are working inside the home, you know, if you've got, if you're running a home business, uh, what to focus on if you have uh, kids or you're working outside the home. And, and I've gone through and I give you lots of tips and tricks in, in that um, week that we did. I think it's called the seven day routine challenge. I put a link up there and it, it just walks you through, you know, routines in general. So if you need more help with routines, Go looky there uh, and make sure that your routine is also to take time for yourself to get some me time pamper time whatever you want to call it uh, this is my little pamper basket which you've seen before and uh, in here you know I've got the book that uh, I'm reading and this is one and this is one I got from the family but I've not started that one yet I got that one for Christmas because uh, this one has to go back to the library this week and I want to finish but I was just going to show you what uh, I'm using as my bookmark. We were in Tokyo in October. I made a video about that and uh, the monks in one of the temples gave us um, some little bookmarks and I love this little bookmark. So, so that's my, my little bookmark. Uh, just because we've been on the Marie Kondo, you know, the KonMari thing at the moment, everything Japanese and organized. Uh, and oh, my other uh, anti-procrastination task for today is gonna be recharging my cordless uh, headphones because I use those when I'm um, doing my stuff around the house. And, uh, oh, and here's something that was in, uh, I, I forgot to mention in my, what I got for Christmas gifts uh, video, but I got some fluffy socks from Vibica. So when I'm chilling here in the evening with my pamper basket and reading or listening to music, I get my fluffy socks on or my fluffy slippers and that is the end of my evening tied up with a bow. So anyway, um, all I've got left to say is live long and prosper. May the hygge be with you and I uh, hope you have a great day with your routines out there and yeah, I'll see you tomorrow. Okay, bye for now.